Hi, I'm Brina Longevin, and I'm a PhD student at the University of Washington, and today I'll be giving a presentation on our paper at CHI titled, Here's the Evaluation of Conversational Agents. Conversational agents are dialogue systems with a wide range of applications and modalities. Some examples include Facebook Messenger bots, Siri, and Amazon Alexa. And in this paper, we consider a conversational agent to be, at a minimum, a dialogue system that is intended to recognize the user's text or speech, manage the interaction, and convey information back to the user. And heuristics are a set of well-established guidelines that tend to result in good interface design. The use of heuristics to guide design and evaluation is a widely used practice for interface design. Recently, there have been efforts towards consolidating and validating guidance in related areas such as human-AI interaction and human-like chatbot experiences. Our work looks to build upon these recent efforts to develop a comprehensive set of heuristics for conversational agent-based interactions. And our research takes the approach of using Nielsen's heuristics as a foundation upon which to build and adapt for conversational agent-based interaction. And some of the research questions that we were considering in this project were, how well do the existing heuristics apply to the design of conversational agents? And additionally, can we develop a set of heuristics that are more applicable and useful for conversational agent interface design? In this paper, we try to address these questions by validating and adapting Jacob Nielsen's 10 usability heuristics listed above to conversational agents. In our methodology, we used a four-phase design process. We started with the heuristic generation, and we first developed a set of heuristics for the design of conversational agents using prior research findings as well as our own experiences in developing these interfaces. In the second phase, we conducted an expert review where we presented these heuristics to nine experts in conversational agent design and heuristic evaluation, who provided relevance ratings for each of the heuristics and we incorporated their feedback into the revised heuristics. One of the main feedbacks uh, from this phase was that the heuristic with the lowest rating was help in documentation, which we ultimately removed and instead replaced with learnability. In phase three, we used heuristic evaluation, which is a discount usability testing method that identifies usability issues within an interface. In heuristic evaluation, a small set of evaluators is typically used to examine an interface and compare its dialogue elements to a list of recognized usability principles. We use heuristic evaluation on two different interfaces, an Amazon Alexa skill, a voice interface, and a text-based text um, chatbot interaction. We use heuristic evaluation on the two interfaces using two sets of heuristics, our conversational agent heuristics and Nielsen's heuristics to determine which was more effective in identifying usability issues. And we found out for the voice interface, Using the conversational agent heuristics, uh, the group that used these heuristics did find more usability issues. But on the other hand, for the chatbot interface, the group that used Nielsen's heuristics found more usability issues. So in the phase four, we went back to the heuristics and revised them based on the results of the phase three heuristic evaluation. And then we conducted an, another round of heuristic evaluation with eight participants just on the chatbot interface to determine which were more effective in finding usability issues. In this fourth phase, we found that the conversational agent heuristics, um, once revised, were able to find more usability issues with the chatbot interface. One interesting finding that we also noticed was in both phases, phase three and four, we observed that Nielsen's heuristics had some limitations in addressing certain usability issues. For example, a few participants in the Nielsen group would find usability issues, but at the same time, they did not assign any of Nielsen's heuristics and they would come up with their own heuristics to apply to that usability issue. Some examples are listed here where one participant noted that they didn't receive a reasonable response from the chatbot, and another participant said that there was some sort of unexpected response when the computer downloaded their data. And we find that the conversational agent heuristics may better capture these issues. For example, the latter issue references a lack of notification about data use, which may relate to the trustworthiness heuristic that was developed in the conversational agent heuristics. Thanks for listening to this presentation and I'm happy to take any questions. Thank you.